It's a game that's almost too fast to see. And then like any other skater on the ice, the goaltender bears a unique burden. We get a lot of pressure. Like uh, the forwards, they get the defense to back them up. The defense, they get us back in us. But us, the only thing that's behind us is the net. The life of a net minder is one where successes often go unnoticed, while failures are accompanied by a bright red light and the boos of thousands of people. So you can let up like one second, because if you get let up like one second mentally, then the puck's going to go in, it's going to be fault on you. So it's a really a big battle mentally to be there 60 minutes. Many incorrectly assume that given the goalie's limited movements, that perhaps they're less athletic, less skilled. But they got to be up, down, up, down a lot quicker than us. And also like side to side, you know, like they got to be uh, very mobile and uh, they got to be very athletic to be a goalie nowadays. I think there's a lot of forwards and stuff that can't touch your toes and then those guys are wrapping their legs behind their heads, so. To outsiders, the objective seems simple. Stop the puck from going in the net. But the reality is, the goaltender position in ice hockey may be the most difficult in all of team sports. And today, I plan to find out just how difficult it really is. The first thing I learned, making even the simplest movements with goalie pads on is a challenge when wearing skates. I think the players think that the goalies, uh, it's really like easy, you don't skate, you don't do like really much in that, but uh, as soon as they, they try, because at the end of the season or in the summer, uh, I always say try it, you'll see. They just come out at the, the, like the ring, they're just exhausted. Now factor in game elements and try to imagine what stepping in between the pipes would be like. Here is a situation, you got a lot of padding done, don't forget, the puck is frozen and the guys shoot the puck about 80, 90 miles an hour. Uh, the other team's job is to make sure they're in front of you so you can't see the puck. And now a goalie, you're hoping it hits you. So what type of person does it take to stand in front of a 90 mile an hour slap shot? Well, I think you have to have a few screws loose to be honest with you. I would never do it, I know that for a fact. Never be a goaltender. You gotta be different and, and I think I'm both. But I mean, it's part of life and I like what I'm doing.